Hi guys, Geo Paul here. Well, I've been out all day taking the kids around a farm, doing all these nature trails, collecting all the clues to get a little Easter thing for the school Easter holidays today. And I came back to something really exciting in my mailbox. This was in my mailbox. Look at the size of this. This is the UK geocaching monthly surprise box from geocacheland.com. You can buy this as a one-off monthly surprise box or you can pay a yearly fee and this will turn up once a month on your doorstep. How cool is that? And Ian at Geocache Land has told me that there's gonna be a trackable in it once a month. Once a month, there's a guaranteed trackable in this. The other stuff to include will be other geocaching goodies, other things to help you go out there in the woods to find those little Tupperware containers. So come on guys, let's dive in and find out what's in this box. Okay, so I've got my knife, so let's delve into this box. Let's see what geocaching goodies Ian has produced for us today. Okay, knife away. Put that away safe. I think I've opened all the boxes. Aha. And let's open it up. Let's see what we have got. So we've got some bubble wrap on top. Just want to point out, Ian has not told me what's inside this box. So this is going to be a surprise. So let's see what's inside the UK geocaching surprise box. Are you ready? Drum roll. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, what have we got in here? Okay. Ooh. Okay, so that looks like, seeing that we've got a Saito weekend and everything coming up and Saito day coming up, we have got a geocaching Saito bag signal on the front there so when we're going out getting trash we can put it in this bag and get rid of it that way that's really cool that's really handy as well because there's a few caches of mine i know lately have had a few lucas hay bottles and a few cans and stuff been put around so i was planning on going to go pick them up so that is going to come in very handy right something big feels like it's in there so we're going to go for that in a second but this just here What's that? It feels really rubbery. Okay. I think, Jesus. Oh, how cool is that? It's really rubbery, but it's a cash container. A little camoed cash container. I like that. That's, that's quite handy. That can be hidden in quite a few different places. Little nooks and crannies, and it blends in really well. So if you were to put it in the woods, that would not stand out in the slightest. I like that, that's pretty cool. Let's have a look what else is in all oh my days. Strangely enough, I was saying to my mother-in-law the other day that certain people at work have these, and I, and I actually said it's quite handy for geocaching as well, and, she, and as usual she went, you in geocaching? And it is a, a, a bottle, a water bottle I think. It's a stainless steel flask keeps hot up to eight hours and keeps cold up to 12. And it says on there, I don't know if you can see it, it says, I love geocaching. I like that, that is that is really, that's gonna be used a lot. So that's quite handy. And it's always good to stay hydrated out there, people, especially with summer coming, especially being really hot on the hot days. Well, it is England, so hopefully it'll be hot days. <laughs> so that will be able to keep, that will be able to keep you nice and refreshed whilst geocaching. Nice stainless steel with sort of a, a plasticky sort of resin on the outside of it. I really like that. So I'm gonna put my hand in and ah. Oh. So we've got some logbooks here and they are right in the rain. Now, if you don't know what right in the rain logbooks are, basically they can be wet and you can still write on these, which is very handy because especially uh, in the winter months when you get Oh, logbook slightly damp, couldn't write on it, logbook very wet. These guys will still be able to write on it. So that, that is pretty cool. They are definitely cutting in some of my caches. Maybe more near the winter time, but you never know. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna put my hands into the paper again. Not gonna look, feel around, find something. Aha. Ah, see, I have got one of these already and they are extremely handy. They are a Geocache Land handmade geocaching log winding tool. Now these are very handy 
when especially doing caches around London or any cache that is a nano cache one of those tiny little what I call naughty nanos sometimes you find the nano you have to get the logbook out and it takes longer to redo the logbook up to put it back in than it was to find the nano in this case that's your problem solved that is really handy now I've been sent a few of these over the years but I have to admit, and I'm not using it as a suck up or anything, I'm, I'm generally telling you, the Geo Cashland wooden one seems to be better and has outlasted all the others that have been sent to me over the years. So I highly recommend these. These are very handy indeed. I'm gonna put my hands in, I'm gonna try and not look what comes out. And we have got what feels like a card. Aha, yes. Might as well use this chance to quickly mention this. If you guys are free on the 7th of September and you live or want to travel up to Manchester on that day, Geo Coin Fest Europe is being held in Manchester that day. I'm going. It is a Saturday and it is in the Exchange Hall at Manchester uh, Crown Convention Complex. It is going to be a very cool day. There's going to be uh, quite a few uh, people attending that. If you love Geo Coins, or you don't have to, have to love Geo Coins, but if you if you just love Megas. This is going to be there. You've got lab caches, you have got geo coins, you've got geo coin vendors, people displaying their own geo coins, and Christian McKay, which I believe is a geo coin designer. He's going to be there, so I want to have a chat with you, Christian. I'm coming to find you. And I found some. That is heavy. Okay, and I think that is that is the last thing that's in there. Now, I've seen these geo coins before, and they are really nice, and they are the terrain. Five, I am right in saying terrain five, love terrain five geo coins. So, if I just show you guys just there, look at that really nice, really nice, beautiful, sort of simple design, really sleek as well. And on the back, and if I cover the code, so you love T5. So, if you like those uh, T5, those really hard geo, geo caches where you've got to climb trees, climb cliffs dive underground, have a bit of a canoe, we've got the coin. That is pretty cool. And I've saw one of these, and I actually said uh, to Laura, who's holding the camera. Hi. <laughs> I actually said to her a couple of months back, I really like this coin, and I showed her. So really, really, really happy that that's actually in there. But that's what I said. Ian has said that there is going to be a trackable in every box, one trackable in every box. So, and some of them are exclusive only to the subscription of this box. So that's pretty cool. I think that is, that is everything. Okay, so guys, if you want to get involved in this really cool subscription box from Geocache Land, all you have to do is head over to geocacheland.com and add the subscription. As I said before, you can either do it as a one-off month or you can do it as an annual subscription. And for what you get in there, guys, I'm really looking forward to the next box. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. There is nothing else to say apart from catch you next time.